There is yet another Chanel collection that has just launched. The Cruise 2021 is in boutiques now. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the entire collection from bags to accessories to their ready to wear. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Amy and welcome to the channel. This collection had a lot of pink color, salmon color, there's purple, there's yellow, and there are blues all in the more pastel range. Also black and white in their ready to wear. Uh, a lot of the fabrics are very soft, very laid back looks. I almost felt like it was designed with comfort in mind. A lot of mixed fibers, fabric, sequins, a lot of thicker, chunkier metal hardware embellishments. So we're gonna take a look at all of those things. Let's start off with bags first. This first bag that we're seeing here is a rattan wicker bag and it is in the vanity style. It's actually really cute. I love the black accent. It also comes in the SLG version, which is a lot more affordable and of course doesn't come with the little handle, but it's still a very good size if you're interested. The large hobo, they are back. This shape is very, very popular in Bottega Veneta. Chanel is doing their own version in fabric in cotton canvas. I'm not a fan. These crisscross embellishments is not my thing. Um, I guess I'm just not a fan of the shape in general and the fact that it is all fabric and it's very pricey. A lot of mixed fabric. This one is in tweed. We're seeing also this in tweed in the large hobo. We're seeing a lot of sequins. In general, I would say that this collection feels a bit less exciting to me, especially in the handbag department. Um, this is a seasonal bag and it's cute. If you love a white bag and you love also black hardware accent, cause this is black lacquered metal, um, then go for it. Let's take a look at this classic flap and lambskin. Beautiful blue color. This uh, kind of baby pastel blue is very, very pretty if you're into blue in lambskin. Very, very pretty. Of course, the prices nowadays are so crazy because this is the price before tax. Insane. Moving right along to the Chanel 19, which is one of my favorite bags. So this one is made of calfskin with crocheting detail. I can't say that I don't like it, but I can't say that I like it either. There's just something about the roughness of a calfskin um, and just looking a bit too busy to me, even though I am a big fan of black and white in general. Um, yeah, I'm just not too crazy of this collection in general. And of course the price is very, very, very crazy. A sequin version, not a fan either. If I were to get anything with this kind of pattern, I would get it in a scarf, not so much in a bag, I guess. Bucket bags, all of them are made in lambskin this season. Even this one that looks a bit more structured, but I guess in person, uh, it might look different, but from picture, it looks very, very structured, I guess, because it is the pebbled lambskin. So it is their caviar texture, but still using lambskin. I'm not a fan of this seasonal design, and especially this one, I, I don't even like it. I, I just don't really like this whole caged feel with the chains, even though I'm a big fan of these Chanel chains in general, but just not this overall design just looks very sloppy to me. So nope, <laughs> this season's drawstring bucket bags are not for me. Usually not interested in black on black. However, it does have a very sleek look. If you're looking for a tote in leather and you like it more structured, maybe you could consider this one because it's very, very sleek. Now, anytime there is lacquered metal, uh, there is always a risk of chipping. Looking at this last picture, even though it does have a bit more of a structure in terms of the construction. The leather is still quite soft, so I would think that you would still need some sort of organizer to keep its shape better. This camera case with crystal embellishments, I almost feel like it looks a bit cheap. So yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't like it. 
it's very pricey actually 6200 for this camera case again more mixed fibers it looks like a bag that someone sewed by themselves um you know, someone who is into sewing and made a DIY bag. So I'm not into it. I don't think I'm being too nice with this collection. But um, yeah, this this season's handbag collection, I'm not too, too impressed. Let's take a look at the same Chanel 19, but this time in the black calfskin with the crocheting detail. Uh, this, however, I... I am kind of more attracted to it. Maybe because in the white leather, you're seeing a lot more of the natural grain. And it almost looks like it's vintage. Like it almost looks like it's been used. So I do like the black, like the tone on tone decoration more if you're into this particular look. So I do prefer this one more. However, if I were to choose between a seasonal one like this one, versus a classic one such as this one and look at this beautiful supple lambskin and this is the version that i have basically i have it in the lambskin version but in a small size in black and i am just such a big fan of the lambskin on the chanel 19 because they are so durable they're so beautiful and soft and it doesn't crinkle the same way as the goat skin would um this is a goat skin one. I don't know if you can tell that it looks a bit stiffer. Definitely feels sturdier, but it, it has more of a stiffer look. I don't know if you uh, understand what I'm trying to convey here. But um, anyway, I just prefer the classic. Again, we're seeing more mixed fibers. Not worth it for the price for sure. Uh, Chanel 19, one of my favorite bags uh, in a tweed. Very, very gorgeous. This black tweed is gorgeous looking to me of course you know you are paying a lot of money for a fabric so only get it if you absolutely love it here's another bucket bag this time with a bejeweled drawstring it reminds me of one that they already made in last collection actually um so yeah this this one is actually pretty cute more pastel colors in beautiful lamb skin so this is kind of like a mint green unfortunately all the mini flaps have gone up in prices and the rectangular mini now is well over the five thousand dollar mark again we're just gonna skip over the rest of the bags just a lot of different um very cruise color theme so a lot of pastel -y colors some white i do like this flap with the chanel details on the handle i do like this kind of detail but i feel like it's just more of the same things so just more of another version of a flap that is seasonal but i do like that it's in white color and i do like the chanel embellishments on the strap more purple more whites if you're on the lookout for a mini rectangle but one with a little bit more zhuzh this one is one to consider. However, you are paying a bit of a premium because of the charms on the strap. This bowling bag reminds me a lot of the Mademoiselle bag that came out in 2011, so almost 10 years ago. Um, it's It reminds me of the shape because of this dome shape. It's not a style that attracts me, but it it just reminds me of that bag very much. More purples, more blues. Again, the Coco Crush is back with the adjustable little ball. By the way, those of you who do own a bag or an SLG with the Coco Crush strap, let me know how you've been liking it so far now that you've owned it for a while. I think it's a cool feature, but I wonder if I would be annoyed by it. Pearl embellishments with a very crazy price and more of these cage look with the chain details. I just am not a fan. Like I'm just not attracted to it. So this is the last collection and I just feel like it's so much prettier. I don't know. There's just more, there's just a bit more oomph and like the details are are pretty whereas this season I'm not liking it very much. So let's move on to their small leather goods. 
Wow, we're seeing so many of these tiny little things that hold close to nothing. Maybe an AirPod, maybe a little lip balm. But like I said, if you're into this kind of accessories, go for it. I was thinking that if you wanted the look of a Chanel belt, you know, like a Chanel chain belt, but you don't necessarily want to spend that kind of crazy money on a chain belt because they can be very expensive and you still want to have at least like a little something else attached to it maybe consider something like this i feel like you are getting kind of a two-in-one obviously it is just a card holder and this seasonal color you may not even like but i'm just saying in terms of the idea if you like the belted chain look you know, and if you like to wear a lot of belts around your jackets, why not get one with a little card holder attached to it? So maybe be on the lookout for something like this if you want to consider their belts. And um, if there's one that's not too, too stupid expensive, then maybe it's worth considering. Moving right along, like I said, there were a lot of the kind of salmon -y color, the pastel colors, uh, a lot of white, a lot of white with black accents. I almost feel like the SLGs are a little bit more interesting because whenever it comes to very bright colors, I love it when I get it in a smaller item. Nothing really standing out too much in the SLG except maybe this cute glass case in age calf skin. I do think that this shape is kind of retro. And I almost wonder if it will fit a smaller size phone. I feel like it would. 11 by 19. And if this chain is a crossbody chain, which I think it is, um, I feel like this could be a very cute little sort of very novel tea bag to consider because the price is reasonable considering everything else. Now they do have this tweed one. I wonder if this tweed one comes in a leather version as well because this one definitely will fit your larger size phone very novelty shape item these little clutches stand out to me now this one is just so super cute but holds maybe just cards and a lip balm so this one is a little small but still very cute very novelty like i said earlier vanity novelty size SLGs and yeah that's pretty much it this was the one from last season already moving right along to costume jewelry which is my favorite I definitely feel that the costume jewelry department has been way more exciting than everything else more exciting than their bags more exciting than the ready to wear first thing that I'm noticing is all the pearl embellishments a little dangly pearl pearls on the cuffs just a lot of these pearl embellishments if you're into a good pearl necklace this one is actually quite stunning also doing a lot of these chunky metals which is very very in trend and they're doing it very tastefully which i like you are paying a lot of money for just a lot of metals uh, but you know it is a Chanel. I mean, Chanel always has its appeal for, for some reason. It always just looks good. This pendant is actually really pretty and the chain is a little chunkier, so it does give more of a extra statement without being too overpowering. Love this bracelet in their chunky metal. And I love this charm. It's very simple. And if you like gold, but you don't like a very vintage gold, this champagne gold is just excellent. Some things can be very expensive, such as this crazy brooch. <laughs> I mean, it's quite out there. $3,000, oh my gosh. When it comes to costume jewelry, you want to make a statement, but still look effortless. So I would still go for something a little simpler. These earrings are probably all the rage this season as well. Uh, they're just doing a lot of the Chanel logos. This one is quite cute and it does come with the pink stone as well. As for myself, am I going to get another pair of the Chanel logo earrings? I will probably skip this season, but um, it's very cute. They're definitely doing a lot of the chunkier metals, still a lot of logos, uh, such as this bracelet. It's very pretty. And um, yeah, I definitely am liking more of the jewelry section. Let's talk about this pearl necklace. It's so stunning. 
I was contemplating so hard on whether I should be getting it as well. Uh, if you love a good pearl accessory, I definitely think that you would love this one. It is very extra though, so it's almost harder to dress it down, but it's so pretty, which is why even though I'm loving a lot of the chokers this season, I just feel like they're not always the easiest to style. Like this choker is just so pretty. Another choker right here, so pretty. Look at all the rhinestones and all the pearl embellishments. It's so hard to say no, but it is a lot of details and very hard to dress down sometimes. And I feel like, especially nowadays, we're all about dressing down. These are really, really pretty CC earrings. These ear crawlers are very pretty. I love how it has details, but still quite simple, black and white with a few stones. Very, very pretty. Definitely a few pieces that stand out to me in the jewelry department, um, but they are getting more and more pricey. So unless you absolutely love it, then I would just pass and you know there's always going to be something else i think aside from the few pieces of costume jewelry that i really really did like from this collection their belts were the standouts for me like i said earlier a lot of denim a lot of salmon -y color black and white some purples some yellows and yeah just very relaxed fabric this hobo bag and fabric looks cool with the overall look because it is the theme you know very beachy theme but if you look at the bag it's on its own it's not that exciting this bucket bag doesn't look exciting to me at all this is a classic flap so it always looks good and the color is very pretty but aside from that everything just looks a bit boring don't you agree but the ready to wear does look very comfortable lots of just kind of cardigan more kind of relaxed fit these two outfits are probably my favorite of the entire bunch very much love the belt so stunning this belt is extraordinary but it's also very expensive if you can afford it and if you love it go for it because it's stunning i love how they they style it on their bodies which is not gonna be flattering for most people myself included but if you can find a way to style it over a dress or over some sort of blazer dress. Now, can we talk about this belt? This belt is so stunning. I love this belt so much that I may or may not have tried to order it. So <laughs> stay tuned. So this belt is in calfskin with a beautiful brooch again this is the same belt on a different model if you have a very simple dress so i have a couple of dresses that are this shape put a belt to cinch it in like this it just jazzes up the entire look i saw a few comments on youtube describing this collection as being very zara or very h&m i don't disagree in a way because a lot of these looks are very simple it's just the direction that they went with this collection there are still very standout pieces like i said earlier but you just really have to pick and choose anyway let me know how you feel about this collection let me know if you're eyeing anything from this collection i hope that you enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel i would love to have you back so please don't forget to subscribe have a great weekend ahead of you and i'll talk to you guys again very soon